Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today I just want to show you a little bit about um, one of the things I got very excited about when I read through the changelog uh, of Altair Hyperworks 2022.1. And this was about um, the recording of hyperview commands, right? So I will just simply show that to you one more time. This was in the hyperview um, change log comments. Uh, yeah, record here, command recording. So hyperworks command language coverage. Um, this has been extended to a few new functions, but um, you see that I was not on track um, about all of that, so I didn't notice that it was even a thing but i tried it out and look what we got here um, and the reason why i'm just pointing that out to you um, and how this works is um, because i get the questions more often that um, for example how should i uh, change um, the load case number in tcl with uh, in hyperview with tcl and so um, I think this way is far superior to the ways I have been doing that the whole time. So um, I don't know how new this is. Maybe I think a couple of years, maybe 2020 would be my guess or so. But I really don't know. I would have to search for that. But yeah, now let's get into the nitty gritty details of it. So HWC, you get this console. If you just go on here to view and then I think it's it's right there, HWC console. And now you don't have to activate anything, but you just do what you do. So for example, if I just create a new model, right, get rid of that. Um, so you see that it locks everything here. And for example, if I now, um, I saw, all right, delete client, this will be the first thing to start a new model. So if I just type in delete space and then i can see all right i can change i can delete something else and say <laughs> maybe the whole so software no just kidding um so delete client would be a new window and you have even the the little um i would say it's a comment hint on what a function does and then you can just click on that and just execute it by pressing enter right it's as easy and um, there's also this copy to TCL or lock to TCL for T or HWC file. So both of them are available. But what this does is really copy to TCL. Now you can go over to the TCL console and paste it in, right? Um, but this will just simply put a HWC before it, as far as I understood it. Could be different on other commands. But now let's just back off a little and um, watch that again from a more general perspective. So you have another layer of comment, um, not com commenting, um, of communicating with Hyperview. And this is a HWC language. And what's very convenient is that it locks it, right? So for example, whatever, I will just open the file once again. It's taken from a tutorial, so there's no problem. And you can do something with it. So you see visuals like uh, controlling the rotation and stuff like that is not locked. And uh, I'm glad for, for that because that's a pain with the TCL log file because you all get those few set rotation commands in there. But the important stuff is in there, right? So if I change the contour to displacements, for example, you see that I have result scalar load type equals displacement. So this is a command you can easily understand, right? It's far better. And you can even look what else is possible. If you just delete something here, all right, maybe I just want to show the SBC forces, right? So, um, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm still excited for that feature and um, continue to be excited. But on the other side, um, I'm sure that not all commands will work. For example, I just quickly looked at the community forum um, to see what you guys think of it. And um, there was this example that it's not um yet capable of exporting something into excel or so but so there will be times for example let's see if i just go to table and do export 
maybe I should do something on the table first and go to export and just save that. There's no command added here, right? So you see that there are, it's not complete. So you cannot do everything with it. But just imagine that you would be able to combine TCL commands and HWC commands. Because as far as I see it, you can just simply uh, include it into a TCL file by just simply uh, adding the keyword HWC before uh, the command. And then you can go on with your normal stuff TCL commands. Um, so this is pretty exciting, I think, because now you can for for just for the stuff where it's not easy to find the commands for for example um i don't know i mean it's you can find for everything you can do with tcl you can find the commands eventually but it's just so easy here to go over the commands and you will get i think a better understanding also for the structure of the software because yeah you put in a command you go to your hwc command a console you see what the command was for example whatever then you see that and then you delete stuff here and then see, all right, okay, but, but what else can I, can I do with that? Is there another load type I could do? Or if I go to just result tensor, for example, right? And then, oh, okay, I can do hide, whatever. So you see, it's easy to explore that. And for this one example, where I have the concrete example of uh, someone uh, asking me on how to change the load case, for example, now the time. See, just doing that here. And then scrolling down, all right, result simulation 31. Now that seems to be not so good, right? Because you want to maybe the last and you don't know. But see, simply delete that. Oh, okay, I can do go to next, previous, to last. So it's all possible here. So. I would encourage you to try that out, give that a shot, um, see where it can take you. And um, because I will definitely use that in the future. So if I'm doing Hyperview scripting uh, again in the future, I will be heavily relying on that feature. And for everything else where HWC is not capable of doing right now at the moment, maybe we have to just wait a little uh, or also just um, make our voices heard. So for example, exporting values to csv files that would be a major concern i would say that would be at least in my case much more important than changing the color of nodes or so right but not not to brag about it but just that you can you can make your voice heard if you just have an opinion on that comment down below just um yeah let, let's think about what else should be um should be in there at uh yeah at the er earliest stage as, as possible all right um, as I said, or promised, it will be a short video, so I will not uh, go any more than that. Um, I will explore that more in the future, so stay tuned for a more detailed uh, video about that. But in the meantime, stay tuned. If you like that, subscribe to the channel, that would help. Uh, comment if you have questions or any other problem. You can just write me a mail or a comment down below, and I will be in touch. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time. Bye-bye.